Once again, it is story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I'm your host, Teacher Cole, and I'm the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner. It is an online tutoring company who specializes in teaching you or your student English online. We use many interesting and unique methods to accomplish this goal, like social studies, science, traditional methods, literature, and much more. We have many teachers ready and willing to teach you now. But today is story time with Teacher Cole. And today we are going to be reading a very interesting story. One that I have not read yet, but I thought was appropriate for the spring season. We are going to read An Extraordinary Egg. We're going to follow three young frogs who are quite silly. But Jessica the frog loves to bring home extraordinary things she has found while wandering outside. And today she brings home a very interesting stone. Or is it? Let's find out, shall we? An extraordinary egg by Leo Liani. On Pebble Island, there lived three frogs, Marilyn, August, and one who was always somewhere else. That one's name was Jessica. Jessica was full of wonder. She would go on long walks away to the other side of Pebble Island and return at the end of the day shouting, look what I found. And even if it was nothing but an ordinary little pebble, she would say, isn't it extraordinary? But Marilyn and August were never impressed One day, in a mound of stones, she found one that stood out from all the others. <gasps> Can you find it? Can you find the stone that is different from everybody else? Hmm. It was perfect. White like the snow and round like the full moon on a midsummer night. Even though it was almost as big as she was, Jessica decided to bring it home. Hmm, I wonder what her friends will say. I wonder what Marilyn and August will say when they see this, she thought as she rolled the beautiful stone to the small inlet where the three of them lived. Hmm. I wonder what they will think. What do you think they will say? Look what I found, she shouted triumphantly. A huge pebble. This time, Marilyn and August were truly astonished. That is not a pebble, said Marilyn, who knew everything about everything. It's an egg. A chicken egg. A chicken egg? How do you know it's a chicken egg? She asked. Hmm. Who had never seen or heard of chickens before? Marilyn smiled. There are some things you just know. Hmm. Do you think it's a chicken egg? Or is it a pebble? Or is it something else? What do you think? Hmm. Let's find out. A few days later, the frogs heard a strange noise coming from the egg. <gasps> they watched in amazement as the egg cracked and out crawled a long, scaly creature that walked 
on four legs. Said Marilyn. I was wrong. It was a chicken. A chicken. They all shouted. The chicken took a deep breath, grunted, gave each of the astonished frogs a look and said in a small, raspy voice, where is the water? Straight ahead, the frogs cried out excitedly. Hmm. Does this look like a chicken to you? It's a very strange looking chicken. What do you think it is? I wonder. Let's find out if it is a chicken. <laughs> The chicken threw herself into the water and the frogs dove in after her. To their surprise, the chicken was a good swimmer and fast too. And she showed them new ways to float and paddle. They had a wonderful time together and played from sun up to sundown. And so it went for many days. Then one day, when Jessica was somewhere else, August and Marilyn saw a commotion in the water below them. Someone was in trouble. Quickly, the chicken dove into the dark pool. August and Marilyn were frightened. <gasps> oh no. After a few long moments, the chicken reappeared, carrying Jessica. I'm all right, she called. I got tangled in the weeds, but the chicken saved me. From that day on, Jessica and her rescuer were inseparable friends. Whenever Jessica, wherever Jessica went, the chicken went too. They traveled all over the island. They went to Jessica's secret thinking place. Hmm. Do you have a secret place that you like to go? Maybe to think or to be alone? Think, 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 think. And to the Great Pebble Monument. <laughs> One day, they went to a place where Jessica had never been before. A red and blue bird flew down from a tree. Oh, there you are, it exclaimed when it saw the chicken. Your mother has been looking all over for you. Come, I'll take you to her. Hmm, I wonder, what does chicken's mother look like. They followed the bird for a very long time. They walked and they walked. They walked under the warm sun and the cool moon. And then they came upon the most extraordinary creature they had ever seen. Hmm. I wonder what this creature will look like. Can you guess? Hmm. Let's see if you are correct. It was asleep. But when it heard the little chicken shout, Mother! It slowly opened one eye, smiled an enormous smile, and in a voice as gentle as the whispering grass, said, Come here. My sweet little alligator. And the little chicken climbed happily onto her mother's nose. Now it's time for me to go, said Jessica. I'll miss you very much, little chicken. Come visit us soon and bring your mother too. Jessica couldn't wait to tell Marilyn and August what had happened. 
As she neared the inlet, she shouted, Guess what I found? And she told them all about it. And do you know what the mother chicken said to her baby? Jessica asked. She called her my sweet little alligator. Alligator, said Marilyn. The silly thing to say. And the three frogs couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> well, this is the end of our story today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I have never read this story before and I found it quite entertaining. But I do have a question though. Hmm. Why couldn't the three frogs stop laughing? Can you guess? Maybe ask your parents for help and see if you all find the same answer. Well, this is the end of our story today. I look forward to seeing you next week for a brand new story at Storytime with Teacher Cole. And as always, you can join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner, where you can find myself and all my teachers on staff in our group, along with students and parents just like you. I'll see you next week for a new story. Goodbye.